India has its fair share of interesting vampiric creatures that date back centuries. By definition, a vampire is a corpse that supposedly leaves its grave at night to drink the blood of the living by biting their necks with long pointed teeth. They can shapeshift and usually appear to their victims late at night. They are repelled by sunlight and various religious paraphernalia. There are plenty of Indian mythical creatures that fit this description, and there are some who might not, but no doubt have influenced popular culture and literature and have subsequently been termed as vampires. I will explore just a few of these in this video. The Vitala are spirits or entities that possess and reanimate corpses. They inhabit graveyards or battlefields looking for bodies to possess. They are seen as hostile and destructive by nature. The legend of the Vitala has endured due to a collection of tales called the Baital Pachisi, also known as Vikram Vital. This collection was compiled by an 11th century writer named Soma Deva Bhatta. It was written in Sanskrit and based on much older literature which no longer exists. In 1870, Richard Francis Burton popularized the Vitala in his English version of the Baital Pachisi. Now, Western audiences were introduced to the fabled mythical King Vikram, who with his son struggles to capture the demonic Vital, who hangs upside down from a tree. The story of Vikram bears resemblance to both King Arthur and Oedipus Rex. In the story, each time Vikram tries to capture the Vitala, the creature tells a story that ends with a riddle. But this is where the myth takes a unique turn. If the king cannot answer the question correctly, the Vitala agrees to remain in captivity. If Vikram gets it right, he will return to his tree. And if he knows the answer but keeps quiet, his head will explode into a thousand pieces. So basically, Vikram has to be wrong in order for Baital to remain imprisoned. In 24 tales, wise Vikram knew all the answers and thus the Vitala escaped to his tree. Finally, the 25th riddle genuinely stumps Vikram and the Vitala consents to be taken into captivity. Scholars have criticized Burden for being the one who first referred to the Vitala as a vampire. As you have heard, a Vitala is a spirit and not the technical definition of a vampire. But multiple TV shows and Bollywood movies based on this legend have portrayed it as such, thus ensuring its survival and popularity. In southern India, the Chadipe is a name given to the sorceresses or witches who are said to ride on tigers during the night and sexually attack men who incur their wrath. In some versions, this creature will turn into a tiger itself and attack men wandering late at night in the forest. According to popular myth, the Chadipe will enter a house naked cast a spell on the residents of the house and suck the blood of the man or husband by putting his toe in her mouth. The term Chadipa actually means prostitute and it is said that these beings bring bad luck into a marriage, destroying the bond and love between a couple. Reciting mantras, burning incense and surrounding your environment with holy relics is said to ward off such a creature.
The Rakshasa is a shape-shifting demon that is also known as a man-eater. They are afraid of light and like to consume the flesh of people. Like the Vatala, they haunt graveyards and are said to be the cause of evil and destruction. In imagery and artwork, they are depicted as gigantic in size and having flaming red eyes, long protruding fangs, and sharp claws. They can also be shown drinking blood from skulls. The Rakshasa is well represented in epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata. They are seen as creatures of both good and evil who fought like warriors alongside their human co counterparts. However, the most famous Rakshasa of all is Ravana. Ravana, who possessed 10 heads and 20 arms, was the king of Lanka and of all the demons. In the Ramayana, he kidnaps Sita, the wife of Rama. After waging war against the demon king, Rama rescues Sita. The festival of Diwali celebrated by Hindus everywhere is said to have some of its traditions based on the story. Since the Rakshasa is repelled by light, Hindus light clay lamps on Diwali, symbolic of Rama's defeat of Ravana. With India's rich heritage, countless other monsters that resemble vampires exist in ancient literature and mythology. Celebrated author and Gothic scholar Devendra P. Varma had asserted that the vampire deities of the ancient Hindus are the source of vampire beliefs in Europe. He stated that these beliefs were probably brought by Arab camel caravans traveling via the Great Silk Route to the Mediterranean. They probably arrived in Greece around the first century CE. While scholars of ancient Greek mythology might disagree with Varma, the sheer number of terrifying vampire creatures in Indian folklore and mythology cannot be ignored. Like I said, when it comes to the vampire myth, India has a lot to offer. So if you like this video and want to hear more, I might make a part two. So subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon to get notifications, and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.